Processors are in everything from cars to fridges. So what happens when the world runs out of them? Well, the answer is actually playing out right before our eyes, and it has been for the last two years. The global chip shortage started in the first half of 2020, when the world was shut down in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Since nobody was going anywhere and demand for new vehicles was falling, car manufacturers scaled down their production and stopped ordering as many electronics. This meant that semiconductor manufacturers like TSMC, which accounts for more than half of the world's global foundry revenue, reallocated their capacity to focus on making chips for consumer electronics products like laptops for the millions of people who started working from home. That was all well and good until demand for cars started to climb again. Since all of those manufacturing resources were still taken up by consumer electronics, there just weren't enough chips to go around. And that's bad news for anyone wanting to buy any sort of new tech. Let's take a look at Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card as an example. Released at the height of the shortage in November 2020, Nvidia said the card would cost $1,139. In reality, it's never even come close to being that cheap. At one point, those desperate enough to buy one of these cards had to fork out $2,899, more than two and a half times its suggested retail price. And it's not just tech that's suffering. People in the market for a new car are faced with months long wait times before they can drive off the lot. That's because modern cars have up to 3,000 little chips powering everything from navigation systems to airbags. Since there are so few of these chips available, automotive giants like Ford have had to halt production at some plants because they just simply don't have all the parts they need. It's not like you can just buy a secondhand car to avoid the wait, either. According to the RACV, near new vehicles are selling for thousands above the sticker prices. So how does all this madness come to an end? Well, we're slowly starting to see things return to normal. That RTX 3080 we looked at earlier can be found for as little as $1,599. And while that's still $460 over its retail price, it's a lot closer to its suggested price now than it was a year ago, thanks to more cards becoming available. In-store availability will only get better as time goes on, especially with big name brands like Intel and Samsung investing tens of billions of dollars in brand new manufacturing facilities to tackle the supply shortage head on. These factories aren't expected to come online until 2024, but they should make it so that something like this is less likely to happen again. The shortage should end a little sooner in the automotive space though. US bank JP Morgan Chase predicts that these supply issues should come to an end at some point in 2023. So if you're in the market for a fancy bit of tech or a new car, you might just have to hold on for a few more months before things start to get a little bit better.